Hello ladies and gents, I am the Spiffing Brit. I find exploits and glitches inside of games, websites and occasionally the UK tax system. Today we will be playing Big Ambitions, a business tycoon game where the developers want you to start as a basic minimum wage employee and over the span of months build yourself up to running a successful business empire. Now after watching two of our Canadian friends Sips and Northern Line spend over 60 days to make just a few grand per day, I've decided enough is enough and I need to show everyone how to completely and utterly destroy this game. So today I'm going to show all of you and our maple syrup drinking friends how to become a millionaire in just five days. So welcome into the game. We need to create our character, someone who's really great at making money. That's why today we'll be playing as post-divorce Elon Musk because, well, um, if anyone's desperate for money and fame, it's this individual here. And we need a character who's willing to do absolutely anything for money. Luckily, Elon's just our kind kind of guy. Now unlike real world Elon, we're actually going to start out with less of a leg up in life. For you see in this timeline, Elon Musk's parents did not own a very dodgy emerald mine. And instead our rich and fabulous uncle has handed us 10 grand and sent us to New York with one mission. Make as much money as humanly possible. Now the game from here on out would logically want you to rent a tiny New York apartment that costs a stupid amount of money, work in a local convenience store just packing bags at the checkout, making minimum wage, and then a eventually have enough money to start your own small-scale business. We're not going to do any of that because that would be boring. So instead what we're going to do is live the Chad life. And by Chad life I mean we're going to set this location over here as our destination. And then instead of actually walking the necessary 500 meters in order to reach it, instead I'm just going to walk into traffic and use a taxi because that's how America works baby. If the cars hit you, they owe you money. So yep, I'm just going to say hey please send me over to Pier 4 over on the lovely south side. Now Pier 4 is a pretty boring building. Luckily this area is home to several key and important things. It's got everything you need to actually live and thrive. And by that I mean it has a bench and gambling. So in order to actually pull off our exploit all we need to do is just sleep repeatedly in four hour chunks over and over again until we get to Friday. This might not seem like the true Alpha Chad move but this is the ultimate way to grind for success. Success. Most other players are out there at this point in time becoming a productive member of society. Our lovely Elon Musk here knows that helping and actually providing a net benefit is not a good idea at all. And instead it's in everyone's best interest just to go to sleep until an opportunity arrives. So welcome back everyone. It is about to be 4.30 in the afternoon on Friday. Now Friday is the best day of the week because it is international water gambling time. You see, for some reason in this area you can't gamble, however, if you were to be, you know, floated off of the coast, then you can gamble. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. We're just going to be hanging out by the ticket house for a while until the great lovely gambling barge arrives. It arrives on Fridays between 6 and 10. Now, my character is technically starving to death at the moment after having spent five days uh, lying on a bench. However, that isn't really a problem. Besides, we can always just grab a snack on the casino boat. Anyway, here it is. Look at it, it's arriving, the wonderful party barge. Now all I need to do is wait another 15 seconds and buy myself a ticket on a one-way opportunity of a lifetime, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go, we're bam, it is now six o'clock. <laughs> Now we're going to go and make ourselves a lot of money. So we bought myself the ticket. We're going to hop on board. Woo, the casino boat, ladies and gentlemen, where we will now jet off to international waters where crime is fine. After all, there's no time like the crime time. So here we go, a little bit of time has passed. It's now midnight on Saturday and we've arrived in international waters whereby we can do as much gambling as we like. For example, I can go up to this slot machine. It costs me $100. I've only got $4,900, but hey, I can spin and woo. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I won $200. Wow, let me spin again. What could possibly go wrong? Oh my god, I won $500. I can spin again. And, um, oh, no luck this time and I just lost money. Now, just like gambling in the real world, gambling inside of a video game is a game of chance where you will always lose money over time. For example, on this slot machine, sure, we can make money, but it's more likely that we're going to lose money. And if we keep doing it, we're going to run out of cash. And as we only start with 5300 that's a little bit 
bit of a problem. So what we're going to do instead of losing money is uh, play smart, and that's why we're going to play blackjack. Now, blackjack is an interesting way of gambling inside of this game because we can bet any amount of money, and the amount of money we bet, provided we win, will get doubled. So I'm going to bet all of my money, and I will now play against the dealer. Now my starting hand here is okay, and in fact I should be able just to stand for fun, and uh, there we go, wabam, I won because the dealer went bust. That's very simple, I doubled my money and got 5,300. Now once I get my profit, I'm up to 10k, and this is where I will drop down a save, and I will bet once again all of my money, all 10,000 of it. Now, of course, we can just get lucky over and over again with, say, 19, that's pretty good, and just roll the dice and hope that the dealer goes bust. Alas, this time the dealer did not. They won and got 21. My score of 19 is not strong enough, and so I have lost all of my money. That's right, we have lost every single bit of cash we started with, and sure, we have 600 in the bank that we can gamble with, but it is going to take us so long to get back up to 10,000, we just won't be able to do it. So instead of doing that, we're going to do exactly what this game allows us to do and just return to the main menu. Because here's the problem with video games that have any element of chance or gambling. If it's a single player game that allows you to save and reload, when gambling goes wrong, what do you do? You just make sure you had a save before you gambled. If you lose, you just load that save. Now, this has of course created a bit of a problem as we're now in Elon Musk alternate timeline 2, whereby we never made that bet and we still have our 10 grand. So we're going to bet this 10 grand again, receive our cards that are nice and low, and then take a hit. There we go, we're at 15. Take another hit, and oh dear, we're bust. What a shame. Don't worry, that didn't actually happen. Back out to the main menu we go. So, once again, we're back in the third timeline, where Elon Musk is going to bet a further 10 grand. We're bam. There we go. And oh, a jack and a 10. That's a 20. So we'll just stand as uh, chances are we should have this, and nope, it's a tie. Okay, so nobody wins. That's fine. Luckily, we get our money back, so we can just bet it straight again. Come on, Mr. Dealer. There we go. That's a 10 and a 3. They get a 10. I'll take a hit. That's 20. I'll stand. That's 20 from them. Okay, we tie up again and we go once more. That's fine. It's fine, Mr. Dealer. A 6 and a 2. That's an 8. Go, they get a 10. I'll take that. It's up to 10 again. And another 10. Okay, I'm on 20. Stand. Stand. Yes, I win. Woo. Fantastic. And I get an achievement. Win 10k at the casino. Lovely stuff. So I'm now up to 20k. So logically, we just place down a save for 20k and now we bet with our 20k wabam oh my gosh i went bust immediately that's fine back to the main menu we go <laughs> look okay i'm not the perfect blackjack player in the universe because all gambling is a game of risk and guess what when there's an element of risk and reward we humans inherently kind of always want to take that risk because we fixate ourselves upon the reward that's why gambling is so easily overpowered and it's why so many gambling websites effectively play like video games these days and it's why you'll even see gambling websites paying streamers to play gambling games on Twitch. Twitch is a gaming platform for goodness sake. Why are people gambling on it? Anyway, I'll take a hit. There we go. We're up to 19 and we stand and there we go. We lose again. That's fine. Back to the main menu we go. What makes gambling so spicy is that effectively all of the most profitable games in the world have in some way taken elements of gambling and found ways to fit them inside of a gameplay loop. Take CSGO's skins and cases which uh, yeah, they make a stupendous amount of money, my friends. And at the end of the day, it's basically just gambling. Not that we'll acknowledge it, though, because that means it needs regulation. Anyway, I'm up to 14. Take a hit. There we go. That's 18. Ow, oh, just stand it. It's fine. It's okay. And they tied. Bet once more. Stand on 20. Here we go. We should have it. We should have it. We sh Yes, we get it. We win 20k. Fantastic. Went up to 40k. Lovely. Right, so our money once again doubled. Our new save is down. We will bet 40,000 this time. I immediately get 19 and win another 40k. So we're up to 80,000. I will once again drop down our save. A few moments later. Right, now a short amount of time has passed, and because I just got a blackjack, I've increased my money yet again up to $200,000, which is very nice indeed. So once again, we're going to make a bet of $200,000 inside of the casino. Uh, we're going to be given our hand. Oh, wow, an amazing 13. Lovely. Brilliant. And we're bust. And look, we just lost 200 grand. That would be effectively life-ending for pretty much everyone on the planet to just have 200,000 grand, make it in a minute, and then lose it in a second. Luckily, this is a video game. So once again, we just alter the laws of time and space and just get rid of all of our problems. Now, of course, if you're trying to gamble in the real world, make sure not to gamble in a casino, but instead gamble in a location where, just like messing with time, you too can also break reality into your favor. Like, for example,
example, why not become a US senator and gamble on the stock market and make only moves that you are 100% guaranteed to turn a profit on. Yes, it's perfectly balanced. Anyway, we'll once again bet our 200,000 without any consequence whatsoever. Oh, we've made 15 and oh dear, I went bust. Oh, no, I didn't. Anyway, back in a bit once I've doubled my money yet again. Right, we have now hit the point where we are betting with 800,000 uh, at a time. And of course, you know, we do risk losing 800,000 at a time, but there is genuinely no consequence to that at all. There is there is no long-term negativity or impact with my actions. And at the end of the day, it's only day six and I've already made 800,000, which is um, which is more than I think I saw Sips make in like over 60 days. So um, uh, anyway, we're going to bet on red and we're going to bet uh, 800,000. Yeah, what could go wrong? This is fine. It's just gambling. Uh, please select a number. I have to select a number any. There we go. Bam. That's my favorite number. Best of luck. What do we get? We... It's, it, it was not my color, so I lost all my money. But that's fine, I just reload the save. Right, once again, we're gonna make the exact same bet. Uh, red on any number, bet 800,000. Wabam, wheelie time, wheel time, wheel time, wheel time. It's a 50-50 chance. And oh dear, we lost again. That's fine, just go once more. What could go wrong? Another identical bet. I couldn't possibly be wrong for like the third time in a row. Come on, yeah, there we go, I was correct. I won 1.4 million. <laughs> Perfect. That is brilliant. Perfectly balanced indeed. Uh, 1.4 million is, of course, you know, quite a nice, nice amount of money indeed. Yes, we like 1.4 million. Um, it's good. So heads we are, we're going to drop down a safe. And you know what? We'll make the exact same bet again. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, what if I bet just 1.4 million? That's right. Lovely. We love making 1.4 million. Well, bam. A identical bet. What could go wrong? 50-50 chance. Guaranteed total success. Oh, I was correct. 2.4 million is just what we made. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, 2.4 million. We'll drop down a save for that. That is wonderful. And you know what? I'm feeling lucky. So I'm going to use the 10 grand slot machine because of course I'll make money from this. Every time you spin the wheel, you lose 10 grand. Woo, I won 20 grand. Woo, go again. It's gambling. I won another 20 grand. Go again. Woo. I lost. And there we go. If we continue, I will continue to lose. So I will not do that. Back to blackjack. 2.4 4 million is what we're betting on today. An absurd amount of money. But here we go. I'm just, uh, you know, an absurd kind of guy. And, oh, 16. What a perfect score. I'll just stand there. Uh, what could go wrong? And I lost. Okay, don't worry. We load the save. We load the save. Right, I want to see how much money I can make uh, in the casino. So I'm just going to continue this for a while and be back in a moment. Right, welcome back ladies and gentlemen. It is 6am in the morning which means I've been kicked off of the casino boat and we've arrived back on land. Now, we entered the casino boat with just $5,000 to our name and we've left the casino boat with uh, 53 million which I personally believe is a little bit of an upgrade and probably a good sign indeed of things to come. But most importantly, I have checked up on our lovely Canadian friend Sips and I can see that on his stream on day 61, the man has 15 grand in the bank and makes approximately $6,000 per day. Now, that's okay, but it's quite simply just not good enough. And so now that I'm a millionaire, I'm going to grab myself a bite to eat and then I'm going to go see what I can spend some of my money on. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, here I am, a business genius inside of a boring, regular old um, coffee shop. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm not ordering myself coffee, even though I am role-playing as the hate Elon Musk, because all I need in order to thrive and survive is a croissant and a soda can. Anyway, this is wonderful. I will just immediately consume it whilst I'm inside of another being. There we go. Consume. And wow, I actually need way more food. Okay, maybe I just need more croissant. How much croissant can one man eat? I suppose maybe I need to go to like a supermarket rather than just eating a bajillion croissants. Right, there's one. All right, my path is simple. Go to the supermarket. This would be a lot easier if I actually had myself a vehicle. Is there a vehicle? dealership no car dealership over here over to the discount market we go oh wait there's a taxi we can use that there we go right taxi uh please take me here we easy peasy lemon squeezy 
And the thing isn't even bloody open. Fine. Over to the vehicle shop we go. Right, here we go. Luxury car shop. This will do nicely. I am, of course, a luxury individual with a luxury quantity of money. So what have we got here? We got the Masaudi 500. Fancy cars indeed. They only cost 95 grand. That's pathetic. That's 187,000 on that one. What about this one? 520,000. Cheap as chips, ladies and gentlemen. What about this old big old meaty cars? Gosh, these are also cheap. They're like only... 65 grand? Jeez. Okay, well, I thought cars were going to be super expensive. Turns out I'm completely wrong. Consequently, I'm going to buy the most expensive car in the game, the Petrolus Phantom in lovely bright gold, because nothing says premium quite like that. It's got a maximum speed of 70. Is that the fastest car? Can I get a faster car? Maximum speed of 70. Maximum speed of 80. Yes, this is the fastest car. Here we go. The An Anselmo AF90. Brilliant. And wabam. It's mine, baby. Now, where's my car? There it is. Lovely. I don't know how to drive it, but this should be fine. It is currently illegally parked and we Oh, we are fast. Oh, yes. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Very good. They got to move out of my way. I have more money than them. Cheese. Uh, that guy doesn't even know he's driving. What a lunatic. What a lunatic. Right, just around here we go. Um, we're going to go actually off-road a bit here because um, we're over in a pretty swanky area. This is where we can buy a yacht, I do believe. Now, of course, I can't afford a house. I'm just going to uh, park my vehicle here. Now, the game will tell you that this is an illegal parking spot. Uh, it's not. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, the parking fines only exist for the poor and consequently, Elon Musk here is not affected by them. So it's over to the Giga Swanky Yacht we go. How much are these cheaper boats? This say Dragonfly F1. Three million. Oh, that's so much money. I've received a, me a message from the City of New York. Hello, City of New York. What is it? Government. Um, writing to inform you of a parking fine of $125 has been removed from your primary bank account. <laughs> They think that can stop me? The fools. The fools! I need to know how much my super yacht is because there's a chance I might not even have enough money to buy it. I mean, 50 million is quite a lot, but this is certainly quite a big yacht. Oh, it's 99 million! Oh, okay, fine, we need to find a way to make more money. And I know the best way to do just that. The answer is not to do an honest day's work, ladies and gentlemen, and the answer is not to wait an entire week for the casino boat to arrive. No, 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 no. Instead, we're going to invest it with a bang. Uh, and not the Silicon Valley Bank, because, uh, oh boy, I don't think they're doing too hot at the moment. Anyway, back into my car uh, that is illegally parked, and we are going straight over to the fancy swanky bank over here. Set destination, and away we go. We Gosh, this thing has some acceleration, doesn't it? Right, and vroom. Oh, watch out. That's a stationary object. Oh dear, so my vehicle has taken some damage, but that's okay. It's okay to have a light bit of damage every now and again. The light was still green when I crossed, which means it's fine. I can go for the overtake, you poor peasant slow cars. And overtake again. There we go. Lovely stuff. Absolute lunatic through the center of New York. But it's okay. I'm British. And consequently, paying American fines has no impact. We right, it's over to the bank we go. Right, here's where I'm going to park. Apparently, parking is legal. $8. Lovely. I'll, I'll pay that. That's fine. That's an achievable amount of money for me. Right, okay. Okay, and over to our lovely swanky bank. Closed, opening in 19 hours. Oh, gosh, right. I guess I'm going to go for uh, my classical strategy of sleeping in the car, baby. I can do that, right? I can just sleep in my car. Yes, I can. Sleep in the car. Got to sleep 19 hours. Yes, the true brilliant giga strategy way. Now, as an individual, I've genuinely only consumed a croissant and a can of soda, and yet my character is still alive. Right, anyway, here's a banker man. Um, new investment. Here we go. I would like uh, Lace Global A. Risk medium. Okay, what about you? Medium, and you are low. Zero to four uh, percent. Amount to invest. Let's invest, say, 25 million into this one. Oh, wait, I can just go above and beyond. Uh, can I invest that? That seems like a lot of money. I don't think I have that amount of money to invest. Can I invest a negative amount of money? Oh, yes, I can. I can invest a negative 100 quantity of money. Okay, if I crank this number up to maximum, right, with 999, and then let's see if I can invest E plus 07 as a quantity. No, I can't. We will just invest the standard 25 million that I want. Right, there we go. 25 million on a low stakes investment, and then we will do uh, 25 million on a high stakes investment. New investment type. 
time. Lace Global A. Nice, true, chaotic path here. Wabam. 25 million. Go do whatever you like with it. Right, and there we go. I have now placed down my lovely investment. Now I just get to go take a look at my uh, investments over here. Yes, no data and no changes whatsoever. So I will just go and have a nice nap in my car, I do believe. Yes, this is the new Giga Life. We just sleep in our super expensive Giga car just for, you know, a full 24 hours to see what our investments are like tomorrow. And I'll see you then. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's day 40 and you might be panicking, I mean look at this, I am the wonderful Elon Musk, but we have no money in our bank account, where did all of my money go? Well don't worry ladies and gentlemen, it is entirely all tied up in investments in the Lace Global A investment fund. Now we're at 56.157 million dollars, now that's a good amount of money, but the joyous thing about our investment ladies and gentlemen is the day by day we make even more money. So if I were to simply go to sleep in my car for 24 hours, that investment is going to rise from being worth 56.1 million to something a little bit more spicy. Now it's this increase in profit which is effectively completely broken because we've now reached the point where in this business management game uh, it makes no sense for us to even run a business because our investment has gone from 56.1 million to 56.3 million. Effectively what we've seen is an increase of 100 $50,000 on our investment over the span of just 24 hours. That is wild. So yes, we make $150,000 per day. And last time I checked, no one else is able to do that by turn 41. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It turns out gambling is indeed perfectly balanced, provided you're happy and comfortable with ever so slightly breaking the laws of reality. From this point on, we can just continuously pass the days over and over again until this fund increases up into the stratosphere and we overflow the amount of money that this game has to offer. In fact, you know what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to the casino again, double some more money, come back and see how high I can take this. I want that super yacht. Right, well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Day 63, and I finally caught myself back up with um, the wonderful Canadians, who I do believe are making uh, around about maybe 10 grand per day at the moment in terms of the game's speed, and that's pretty good. Um, the issue is I am making about a million per day, thanks to these lovely investments here, you see. Now, each day that I sleep, ladies and gentlemen, raises my current investment from 539 million to after just one quick 24-hour power nap, we go from 539 million to a much more delectable and enjoyable, very jazzy, ah, 540.9 million. Very, very good indeed. Now, this is very broken as I am now making a million per day. Money has no meaning to me. I could quite simply wait 100 days and buy myself the Gigaboat, which, yes, I suppose I might as well do. No one else has bought the Gigaboat, so it is my time to shine. Turn around, car. We're going to the Gigaboat a boat. Wee! Look at all these dangerous drivers getting in my way on the road. Don't you know I have more money than you? Get off the road, peasant. Jeez. Wow, we attach now? We like you spin me right <laughs> Little bit attached. That's okay. What if I reverse? Does that mean I still take damage? Yes. I, well, I've had enough fun and my car is now battered up, so it's time for me to uh, park my vehicle right here. It says it's illegal, but, um, I don't know. I think it's doing fine, actually. Uh, I think, you know, what? Who's who am I to judge what is and isn't illegal? Anyway, I'm just going to quickly use the economy viewer here and order a payout of um, $540 million. Uh, you know, just a nice casual element of money. Put this into perspective, this is like effectively nothing of what Elon paid for Twitter. And I mean, that's been a surefire investment for him. <laughs> oh God, Twitter sucks. Anyway, uh, 99 million. Here we go. We're going to buy the boat. Do we want to make it white, red, uh, yellow? Eh, it's got to be yellow. There we go. Bam. Purchase. Yes, my boat. Ah, oh, yes. Relax on boat. Yeah, I'll relax 12 hours. Can I do anything with the boat? Can I just relax on boat? Is that it? Is that seriously all I can do? I can just relax? I bought a 90 million boat. Can I sell it? 84,000. What? The boat is meaningless. There's nothing I can do with that. What a waste of money. 99 million down the drain. Well, well, still historically, this will only be Elon Musk's second worst investment after Twitter, because at least at the end of the day, it's still a boat. And boats are cool. 
Right, and well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's, of course, how to play Big Ambitions, uh, the true 100% accurate developer-approved way. Uh, this is the most efficient way, and I promise you this is exactly what the developers wanted you to do. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure to give it a like. Why not leave a majestic comment telling me what game you'd like to see me break next? And, of course, as always, a majestic thank you to each and every one of these lovely sausages who fund my videos. And if you're sat there wondering what to watch next, look no further than this on screen now. Anyway, go and give it a watch. I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye. Wow, that was a speedy outro.